Hello everyone, and welcome to the Astronomy Nightlight DIY. This is a simple, cheap DIY that you can do with a candle jar and some aluminum foil. Without ado, let's get to it. First, you'll need a Sharpie. Then, you'll need a measuring device of sorts. A regular ruler will do, but I have this flexible one laying around, so this is what I chose. Then, you'll need a simple, plain, not so special needle. A tap light. I chose these from Amazon because they were really cheap and came in a pack of six and we needed more. Three AAA batteries to make them work or whatever yours will call for. A candle jar. The ones with the all glass lids will not work because they'll let light at the top. So I chose this one with the aluminium lid to keep light in when I put the tap light in. I'll also be using this box of stars that I got when I was younger. It's from the 90s and I couldn't find any online to use, but they're really cool. As you can see, they come with these templates that you hold a flashlight on and you would see the star constellations on the wall across from you. I'll be using it to, as my template for this later on. And last but not least, you'll need some aluminum foil regular from the grocery store will do just fine. Now you will also need to know the length of the jar or the height of the jar. So you measure that from either the lid or just underneath the rubber stopper. I recommend just underneath the rubber stopper because if you use, put it above that, it will shove the aluminum foil down. So I'm measuring from just underneath it to the edge of the jar, which is 12 centimeters. Then you will need the di diameter inside diameter of the jar. Mine is eight centimeters. Put this off to the side. And then you will need to start folding your aluminum to fit the jar. I'm using the edge of the table to be able to get a relatively straight line on the bottom which unfortunately was off camera at the time. Once that's done, you'll be able to measure the length or height of the foil that you need to be able to fit in the height of the jar. Again, measure it and mark it. And then as our grandparents always said, measure twice, cut once. Well, in our case, we're gonna measure twice and fold once. When you fold it, it's easy to pull it from the sides or put a mark in it just above it, and then you can fold it nice and easy to make a crisp line. Remember, when you folded it, if you make a crisp line, it will show up if you have to unfold it. So try to do it once before smoothing it down. And then measure again, just in case it looks a little uneven. It's also useful to do this just to make sure you actually got the right height all the way across so you know if you need to do it again or not. My first time doing this, I actually messed up. Then you can fold over the top, smooth it down, make a nice clean crisp crease so that way it fits in the jar smoothly and it will look nice. Once again, double check it for the height by wrapping it around the outside. You should be able to see that you can see underneath the rubber stopper and that it fits along the base nicely. Now you will need to measure the circumference. To do this, you'll find the radius by dividing the diameter you measured earlier in half and then multiply it by two and pi. I added just slightly more for overlapping, so I'll be measuring off 26 centimeters. And again, measure twice. When you get this measurement, you should be able to fold down the extra part. You can either fold it apart or you can cut it off. 
it depends on how much extra aluminum foil or aluminium foil you actually have and how much you need to get rid of. For here, I'll be folding it in half as this demonstration. When I first started doing this, I folded it over and then I would try it out and then I would cut it off. I found that cutting it off makes it nice and neat inside the jar afterwards as well. Once it's folded, double check it. It goes in kind of awkwardly at first, especially unless you're not practiced. I find that putting the, the bigger folded parts on top or on specific sides where you're not used to holding it will help to be able to get things nice and smooth on the inside. This will give you a chance to test the height as well as the circumference and the radius. No gaps. You're ready to move on to the next part, which is making your constellation. Just pull it out, smooth it down, and either cut off the aluminum foil or leave it in for extra stability. I like to mark from the good side out so you have a very clean idea of where to put your marks. You can either freehand or, like me, I'm going to be using the box of stars for templates. I'm going to be using Drago Constellation because it was considered the guardian and protector. I'm going to make sure that the plenty of room for all of the dots and then flip it over so I don't leave marks on it. For this, if you're going to use a template, you will need a needle to poke through the small little holes like I have. Do this and then you can end up pulling that apart and using your Sharpie to go over it and make solid marks. Magic of TV, you can use your needle to poke all the way through the aluminium. And the magic of editing later, you'll see that you make a wonderful constellation that you can then put inside of your jar. Once you've gotten all of your holes punched, slip the aluminium back into the candle jar. Make sure the sides are nice and flat. Turn on your tap light, slide it in, and put your lid on. Now you have your constellation in a jar that you can change out at any time you want for different constellations around your room. Thank you and have a wonderful day and I hope to see your constellations on social media.